What is going on? This is your boy Rich back with another video and we are going to be looking at the UC Riverside Highlanders. Appreciate all the comments and all the love on the videos thus far. Um, our last game we took a tough loss to Texas A&M. However, we look to bounce back against Idaho, the Vandals. We are on the road on a Saturday. So let's see what we got going here. Actually, we might be at home. This is our home opener. Let's go. Idaho comes in and they look to be just a smidge better than us, but this is a winnable game. Alrighty, we're in the student rec center. <laughs> what an impressive venue for an impressive team. Don't they know this team is six and two? Look at the empty seats. I do like the court. The logo is excellent at center court is Drayton D's up we got hooks here and I'm definitely looking forward to trying out McGee this Dean has been shaky of late where was this against Texas A&M the cutting the, the precision just disappeared however Idaho Offers a bit different challenge here. They look like they've got some good height on the front line. We're going to bring in McGee as soon as we can. As Hooks gets rejected. But is able to get his own board. That is a highlight play right there. Proves he won't quit on the play. Villagard can't bother the shot right there to Drayden as we go we are in the big west conference i don't know if this is a conference game <laughs> we will see i don't know if if they are in our conference they may be in big sky and by finally hits a three first one of the season for him by and we're gonna bring in mcgee early i like what i saw in that last game as we get it to hooks McGee wide open. He's money. He's not going to miss too many out there. <clears throat> Had a guy. That's a walk-on. Sitting at the end of my bench. He's a 58 overall. However, he is a very good shooter. <laughs> he has juiced up three-point stats. I think he's a 77 overall shooter. So, that's way better than what I was dealing with. I think Hooks turned out to be one of our really only consistent shooters. Drayden is very up and down. And by hit his first three of the season, we are going to uh, do damage to the big teams. We're going to need a guy like McGee as we are up 12-2. I didn't even notice. Good Jesus. And Drayton kicks it to McGee. We got to make sure he's open first. He is going to be our shooter. And Fisher, I'm going to get him some run uh, in this game as well. And by is able to finish. And Idaho's in trouble right now. They don't even know it's hit them. Because we've been at such a high level all season. Any team that has similar ratings to us is probably in trouble. McGee, wide open. Got seven points leading the team to scoring. This walk-on could be the story. I don't know if he's just a new toy that I'm uh, happy to have had on my roster this whole time without knowing it. But um, works for me. Dillagard, McGee, and who we got on defense here. And then by running the break here. Showing he can handle the rock. Dillagard. McGee back open again. He comes up a little short. I think his three-pointer might be uh, the way to go rather than the twos. As we give up the layup there. Drayton. Locked up here. Drayton able to score in the paint. Hasn't been shooting much of late. Been more about the distribution. And by, we're going to look to Fisher. Going to bring in Hobbs as well. And Truscott. Let's get him some burn. McGee there coming up. 
And look at that. Able to get to the rim using his driving ability. And one. And Trusted comes in for Drayton. He's going to run the point for us. We've got Fisher and Hobbs. So, McGee. I'm going to bring Dean back. Give him a couple of those minutes back. And Idaho looks to be just completely shaken. They don't know what's hit them. Neighbors puts it in. And Fisher able to convert. Had these guys sitting on my bench, and uh, it looked like they can be valuable contributors. So we are going 12 deep, everybody. All players will get an opportunity. Truscott. And McGee there. Maybe get him a breather here. He's not used to big minutes. Hobbs. Looking forward to see what he looks like when he develops. Hooks. Deep. He's not able to convert. I'm going to take him out and put McClinton in the game. End of the half. We'll see if uh, we get a chance on that. Truscott. Looking comfortable here. As Fisher. Able to put it in. And McGee. Steal in the slam. Nine points in the first half for the walk-on. As I am trying to find my great lineups. We got 29 points in the first half here. Hell of a game for UC Riverside. Idaho. Not knowing what's going on. As the defense is spectacular there. McClinton comes up. Pulls deep on a three. Cannot convert. And we are up 29 to 10 as we have no time for what Idaho is trying to bring to us. And the Vandals are gonna get a chance to come back from down 19. I am not going to let them. Because our starters are back in now, along with Truscott, at least. Drayton, his shot's just not straight. That's what I'm, what I'm learning about him. I trust his playmaking skills. Very deep. Full spin move there. Look at the ball handling. To Dean here. We got kind of short sacked on his playoff playing time in the first half. So try to let him see what he can do. And he cannot. Dillagard with the J. Not able to put it in. He is able to get the rebound, but he's under the rim. Didn't realize where he was there. I appreciate the afro on Brewer. As a former afro wearer myself. It's not easy to uh, get a perfect throw. <laughs> Dillagard figures it out. Drayton with the big steal to him by. Not able to finish there, but he has high energy and he's able to get to the line. Hooks not able to convert. I think these uh these wings, Hooks and Dean are kind of looking over their shoulder a little bit. With the emergence of McGee. These guys have played well for me so far, but if I need to make changes, I will. Hooks, trying to ensure no changes <laughs> are necessary. As McGee can look to be a special option. I can hang out in the corner. Perhaps he even gives us the ability to go small. Hobbs is going to come in with... I'm going to put Dillgard and Fisher out there. Let's see what that combo looks like in the front line. Sarche with the three there. Drayton. And Dean. Not able to uh, gather himself early on. Hooks. Hits another. As he wants to let it be known that we have multiple three-point options here. 
Illigard challenges successfully, but we give up the foul there. Fisher and Dillegard looking like twins down there. Both with the long hair, light skin. And we give it up due to some minimal pressure. They get the assist, Ducks to Clark. Fisher not there to Hooks. And get it back to Dillegard. See what he has for us. Fisher hanging out at the three point line. Like he. Fisher there. Back to DG. Dean not able to convert. He's coming out the game. Come sit by me. Drayton able to finish on the inside. Fisher. Impressing me almost as much as McGee. These guys were just chilling deep on the bench. Letting any recruits know that playing time is just not up for grabs here. <laughs> You've got to come with it as Hooks gets rejected. Take it back where you came. I think it was 31-11 before. Now it's 29-43, so they're trying to sneak back in. Hooks, big floater there, 10 points. And they turn it over, shooketh. So Owens and Hansen in. I like to kind of group players together and see what combos lead to success here. McGee, not able to finish, but Hansen there. Hansen and Owens typically play together. Of course, our starters and guys like Fisher and McGee will be combos. I like to play together. Hooks and Dean. I'm going to try to blend those as well. Hooks. No go. Fouled and one. They're down so much they can't really play the uh, free throw games. So that's good. Make sure you guys are liking this video. Subscribe to the channel. Do not miss anything on the journey here. As Hansen lines it up. Not able to convert. But uh, it's been a fun series so far. Anytime I'm able to run with the uh, Highlanders is pretty fun when I sit down and make these videos for you guys McGee back to Owens and Owens hits deep oh, long two and we've got them all in their feelings Idaho not knowing what to do ew Probably should have just went up with that originally, with who I intended. In the UC Riverside, Highlanders with the win. Hooks, player of the game. When you see Greg Gumble, you know what it is. We win 49-35. Hooks leading score. Fisher gives us some good time there. McClinton did not get in the game, so that's something to look at. Make sure I don't forget about that guy. McGee hit 1-3 for us. Nine points overall, so he was uh, more of an overall player. Dean struggled 0-5, so um, something to look at. So maybe we see some lineup changes going forward. But anyway, this is your boy, Rich. Thank you for watching the video. I'll holla at y'all next time. Peace.